Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Yeah, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said be... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just picked this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? I can explain either way. No, I'm not here to get after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. What I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. Nah, I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart. About how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair. I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me, who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. So I respect people like you. I mean it. Oh. Is that sincerity? It's kind of creeping me out. It's just so unlike you. Huh? When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. I want to beat you when you're at your best. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. Let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. Well, I mean, I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. Just know that I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. If you stop being that way, I won't have any competition. <laughs> competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone like you back then, I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me, or...? Oh, sure thing. The very next moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. Oh, I see. Some other time then. 
I look forward to it, Annette.